everybody. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. For today's message, I'm going to be doing a channeled message from the masculine divine counterpart. I haven't done one of these for a while. And if you would like a personal reading or Twin Flame coaching, please check the description box below. And without any further ado, we can jump straight in with the first card, which is Separation. I know you are hurting, I feel your pain as we both dive deeper into self. What rises is what needs to be healed. It wouldn't be coming up if it wasn't if it wasn't coming up to be cleared. Trust your journey to the heart. There's no separation between us as we have been as one since the beginning of time and that's a very important thing to remember. My Divine Feminine, if you're still thinking of yourself as separate from me, separate from love, it's okay to let that energy go now. It doesn't serve you. It's not the truth. What is the Divine Truth? You were created as one with your twin flame to be together in love for the whole of eternity. We weren't designed for separation. We know that because it feels bad. Separation sucks. Growth. Surrender control. Allow yourself to move through what arises. Things can seem bad at the time. But keep going and you'll make it through. And all, all will be well, and you'll have gained huge amounts of spiritual insight and healing. People don't want bad things to happen, but don't try to control how the divine brings you your blessings. Problems arise in order to bring you your blessings. So you don't know how good things are on the other side of everything. If you're having an experience right now that maybe you don't want to experience, please know that there's a lifetime of blessings to be had from that experience. The reaching is the blessings of the divine, the power of the divine, the power of surrender. Uh, please know that we're both doing what we need to be doing to come into union with each other. Nine of Pentacles, planet Saturn, element Earth, zodiac sign, Capricorn, Cardinal, making the effort, dedication, commitment, teamwork, collaboration, recognition, goals, learning, growing, establishing deeper connections and more growth, making romantic and artistic dreams tangible. It's all, it, it's all fun to <coughs> come together really delightfully. <clears throat> There's only you and the divine and your twin flame is you. So it's really just your twin flame yourself and the divine that never come to pass. You're being presented with an opportunity from the divine right now and only you can walk through that door that's been presented to you. I can't do it for you. Your mum and dad can't do it for you. Your friends can't do it for you. Only you and the divine together. Stepping through. You must conquer the experience, please know that you're safe in in taking your next steps and you're going to go through it. You're going to face the same experience again and again and again until you look at it and be present with it, until you feel your feelings about it. You have to have the experience. 
And it's these experiences that we're both having that's bringing us to our dreams. If you think that if you're having an experience that you don't like right now, which shouldn't happen, it's okay to let go of control here. What are you going to do with your experience? Surrender. And you'll be getting you'll be going through all your experiences very well equipped. Trust the divine. Set the intention to move through whatever arises and have lots and lots of compassion for yourself at this point. If you're going through stuff, you may experience confusion and upheaval. You may be questioning whether you're really moving through it. And then you realise that you have and you get all the peace and the relief and gratitude and clarity and knowing that you move, you're coming closer to Harmonious Twin Flame Union. A time to restore. Remember that I am yours, but it's the divine that gives me to you. It may look like the divine is standing in between us, but that's not to block you. It's just to guide us towards each other, guide us to each other. Yeah, please know that all these perhaps negative or yucky experiences are simply the separation consciousness leaving in exchange for love. So have faith and trust and surrender, that's it. And the result of the clearing is getting closer to harmonious union. You release any self-doubt. You don't need to find confidence, all you need to do is surrender the doubt. It's okay, it's safe to let that go. Surrender and the Divine will bring you the confidence that you require on a golden platter. If you're in what seems like the most challenging stage, just surrender. This is a lifetime commitment. So surrender and the upset, the bad experience will pass and the joy will come in, the, the blessing will come. As you're releasing the negative, you know what a great blessing that is. But you think it will happen after. It's making space for more love to rush in. What blessing is the divine bringing? The twin flame journey, this is it. It happens over and over and over again. That's because the blessing of your twin flame is so big it couldn't be possibly contained in in just one go. The blessing is too grand to receive in just one lump. Remain present with whatever you're experiencing, where whether it's positive or negative. Know that emotions are just energy, whether they're positive or negative, and it's the nature of energy to be allowed to flow. You don't want to hang on to your energy. To be in union, you have to move closer to it. And that means releasing everything out of alignment with it. Beyond the mind. You know, this is not a thinking thing, it's a feeling thing. You are a feeling being, our union is a feeling being. Just surrender and let it happen for you. It's, happen it's happening any way you chose it. Choose for it to be fun and easy. You don't have to do anything to surrender. It makes it easy. That's where your power is. Feel it and let it go. Tears. The closer I move to me, the closer I move to you. My tears are an expression of who I am in joy and sorrow. From the well of my emotions, I release... All things that don't serve my highest good. A very strong theme regarding this in this message. You are reminded of this, so let go and allow the tears to flow. Now, you can't avoid these feelings. It sucks, so let it go. Maybe the next feeling isn't 
too different to the previous one. Just feel it, notice it and let it go. Soon all these yucky feelings will go. The yucky feelings that were being held in consciousness. It's the yucky feelings that are preventing you from your desires. But once they're all gone, once that separation consciousness has upheaved and been purged, all right, and all you had to do is surrender and let it go and let it pass through. You let it pass out. And letting it pass means you do need to feel it. What matters is, are you with the divine? And are you choosing love or not? Will you go with God here? Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.